<laughs> In the heart of ancient Rome, where the marble columns reached for the heavens and the air buzzed with the energy of a thousand souls, there lived a man who was wise and just, ruled with a steady hand and a heart brimming with compassion. We all know the story of Marcus Aurelius, a man of introspection, his thoughts like a river that flowed deep and steady. He ruled with a philosopher's mind, seeking the greater good for his people, always mindful of the fragile balance between power and responsibility. His eyes, the color of aged oak, held a wisdom that seemed to reach back through the ages, drawing on the collective knowledge of humanity. As different as night and day, his son, Commodus, was a tempest of ambition and hedonism, a storm that threatened to engulf the empire in its wake. It is as certain as the sun that we all learned so much from the story of his father for being a remarkable man. Commodus, in contrast, would be a cautionary tale, a reminder of the perils of unchecked ambition and decadence. His reign would be marked by turmoil and strife, a stain on the annals of Rome's storied history. And so, in the grand tapestry of time, the tale of Marcus Aurelius and Commodus would be etched in contrasting hues, a vivid reminder of the choices we make and the legacy we leave behind. In the twilight years of the Roman Empire, Amidst the grandeur and decadence of ancient Rome, there emerged a ruler whose name would forever be etched in infamy, Commodus. Heir to the throne, son of the great Marcus Aurelius, his reign would become a dark chapter in the annals of history, marked by debauchery, cruelty, and a tragic descent into madness. As the young Commodus ascended to power, the Roman Empire held its breath, hoping for a continuation of the wise and just rule of his father. Alas, those hopes were dashed as the new emperor revealed his true nature. While Marcus Aurelius had been a stoic philosopher king, Commodus proved to be a man driven by base desires and an insatiable appetite for indulgence. The imperial palace, once a bastion of dignity and decorum, now echoed with the sounds of revelry and excess. Commodus surrounded himself with sycophants and flatterers, eager to cater to his every whim. One of the most intriguing figures in Commodus's court was his sister, Lucilla. A woman of intelligence and cunning, she navigated the treacherous waters of her brother's court with a mix of grace and shrewdness. Though she shared his blood, she could not condone the depravity that consumed him. Lucilla became a silent observer her heart heavy with sorrow for the Empire's plight. It was not long before Commodus's penchant for excess extended beyond the confines of the palace. The coffers of the Empire were drained to fund his extravagant lifestyle, while the common people suffered under the weight of exorbitant taxes. The once thriving economy began to crumble and discontent festered in the hearts of the Roman citizens. As the years passed, Commodus's descent to madness became more pronounced. He fancied himself a gladiator, taking to the arena with a bloodlust that shocked even the most hardened spectators. The once honored tradition of gladiatorial combat was reduced to a gruesome spectacle with the emperor reveling in the slaughter of prisoners and slaves. The Senate, once a bastion of power and influence, now cowered in fear of the capricious emperor. Those who dared to oppose him were met with swift and brutal retribution, their families torn apart and their estates confiscated. The once proud institution became a puppet of Commodus' whims, rubber stamping his decrees and proclamations without question. Amidst this backdrop of decay and despair, a shadowy conspiracy began to take shape. Lucilla, driven by a love for Rome and a desire to see her brother's madness come to an end, 
quietly lent her support to the cause. Senators, disillusioned by the Emperor's tyranny, gathered in secret, forming alliances that would ultimately lead to Commodus' downfall. One of the key figures in the conspiracy was Senator Quintus Elius Rufus, a man of principle and honor who had grown weary of witnessing the Empire's decline at the hands of a madman. With a network of loyal allies, Rufus orchestrated the delicate dance of intrigue, ensuring that the plot remained hidden from prying eyes. The final act of Commodus's tragic reign came in a blaze of violence and betrayal. As the Emperor reveled in yet another debauched feast, the conspirators struck, their blades finding their mark in the heart of the mad ruler. And so, with the death of Commodus, the Empire would never fully recover from the wounds inflicted by this ill-fated ruler, and the once mighty Rome would continue its decline, inching ever closer to the inevitable fall that would mark the end of an era. The tragic tale of Commodus serves as a cautionary reminder of the corrosive power of unchecked debauchery and excess. It highlights the perilous consequences of a leader who prioritizes personal indulgence over the welfare of the realm. Lucilla's valiant but doomed efforts underscore the importance of principled resistance in the face of tyranny, even when the odds seem insurmountable. In the end, Commodus stands as a testament of those who wield power without restraint, a reminder that the seeds of a civilization's downfall can be sown in the excesses of its rulers. May we heed these lessons, lest we too be condemned to repeat the tragic tale of Commodus and the fall of Rome.